Okay, this is the uh, second video of this, just playing around with it. What I've done with it now is taken out the hard drive completely, and I made an interesting discovery that when the hard drive is removed from it, the and I also removed the screws so I can get the CD-R drive out and get it up to where I can play with it. And there is an, an open-close button on the front of the CD-R drive down under here, right there. That now this thing is turned on and the blue lights blinking waiting for it to to boot up which it's just never going to do if i use this button it will close it will read the disc and it actually sounds normal it's read the table of contents of the disc and it's basically waiting for a command to say play uh, but of course you can't do it and none of the front buttons work on the thing it doesn't listen to any of these front buttons it does not listen to this eject button that's on the front doesn't listen to that at all it only listens to the button that's on the thing right here it will listen to this button here and it will eject the disc fine and it will listen to the button again and it will pull the disc in and read the table of contents again and it will get ready to play you can hear the laser reading the disc, and it's now it's in standby waiting for you to say play. And uh, that's as far as we get. And there again, our blue light is still just blink, blink, blink. But that's, I'm sure, because there's no hard drive. So I'm almost sure this has a totally failed hard drive. But I'm still, again, I'm not sure. This is just may give you a clue as to maybe what's wrong with this thing.